Can you imagine the fallout if Bethesda doesn't show Fallout 4 at E3? I mean, seriously. Thankfully, a new rumor suggests Fallout 4 will be at the annual gaming convention next month. Sweet. German site PC Games claims that Bethesda will reveal the post-apocalyptic RPG at the end of the company's E3 presser, with a more detailed look of Fallout 4 happening behind closed doors. This gameplay video is reportedly 20 to 30 minutes in length and will hopefully let us know where the open world game is set. Could it actually be Boston or somewhere else? Let us know in the comments below your thoughts on Fallout 4. I'm so freaking excited! In case you didn't know, Nintendo is jumping into the smartphone game market in the near future. The president, Satoru Iwata, has revealed that the Big N will release five games for mobile devices between now and March 2017 with DNA. Iwata said during an investor's meeting, You may think it is a small number, but when we aim to make each title a hit, and because we want to thoroughly operate every one of them for a significant amount of time after their releases, this is not a small number at all and should demonstrate our serious commitment to the smart device business. Now I realize many are worried about Nintendo's smartphone venture, but I'm optimistic we could see some cool stuff. Speaking of Nintendo, the company has shipped over 10 million Amiibo figures globally, creating countless toy addicts in the process. We've had a couple of interventions here at IGN already. The Big N has shipped 10.5 million statues of Mario, Link, and company, with a majority 66% going to North America. What can I say? We love our tiny Mega Man and Samus figures. Elsewhere, Europe has received 20% of the Amiibo shipments, Japan has gotten 11%, and Australia is at 3%. Bandai Namco has unveiled what iconic cyber ninja Yoshimitsu looks like for Tekken 7. The head of the Manji clan is not a surprise inclusion in the fighting game. He's appeared in every mainline Tekken entry, but his new tentacle monster form will definitely stick out for players. Bandai Namco loves to mix up Yoshimitsu's look for each game, and it's cool to see the company still going all out for the fighter with this octopus-inspired design. Hail Hydra! Guardians, we knew Destiny's House of Wolves was coming May 19th, but now we know exactly what time Bungie will deploy the second expansion, after 10 a.m. Pacific time. That's when new content like the Prison of Elders and Fresh Gear will go live in the Shared World Shooter, so go ahead and schedule your tower dance parties because there's not too much longer now for House of Wolves. In fact, Bungie has even dropped the launch trailer for the expansion, so check it out right now on IGN. It's your destiny. Rock Band is back, people! That's right, Rock Band 4 is blasting into your living rooms later this year, but you can check out our world premiere live stream for Rock Band 4 next Friday, May 15th, right here on IGN. So get ready to crank it up to 11, smash some plastic guitars, or maybe just play them with the utmost care, and rock out next week with us on IGN. That's your Daily Fix for May 8th. I'm Naomi Kyle. Have a totally rad weekend, and remember you can get your fix anytime online at IGN. Thank <laughs> you.